two new books by the Gentleman Club's own Mark Antimate, coming this holiday and New Year's season, featuring over a hundred entries of Japanese whiskey. Just in the outskirts of Osaka Prefecture, right along the Kyoto border, there is a town called Shimamoto, and this is where Japanese whiskey was born. This place of over 100,000 square meters, constructed in 1923, is where the first Japanese whiskey started being distilled only a year later. The founder of this place, Shinjiro Tori, said, quote, I want to create a perfect whiskey that reflects the nature of Japan and the spirit of Japanese craftsmanship. As you enter into the compound grounds, the first place that you might go into would be none other than the Yamazaki Whiskey Museum. Here is where you can learn the complete history of Suntory Whiskey. You can also see some old photos and rare bottlings along with the reading. The History of Japanese Whiskey Exhibit This exhibit tells the story of whiskey in Japan through an extensive assortment of historical items, including the desk regularly used by Shinjiro Tori as he polished his whiskey blending skills. Akadama Port Wine first sold in 1907 and was a big hit and gave Shinjiro his chance to move into whiskey production. Setting the stage for the history of Japanese whiskey, Shinjiro Tori, founder of Sun Tori and his passion to create a Japanese whiskey that suits the Japanese palate was created. Sun Tori Shirofura, the first Japanese whiskey, was created in 1929 get a close-up look at its initial sale bottle. Learn the story of the early days in business. Various exhibits allow you to experience the path Suntory Whiskey has taken since the time of Suntory's founding. Master blenders of past and present are the ones who direct the entire whiskey production process and determine the final quality. And they truly are the arbiters of quality and flavor. Up on the second floor, you can see the exhibit titled The History of Japanese Whiskey, which tells the story of craftsmen, heritage, and innovation. Suntory introduces their whiskey-making pedigree, including the attention to passion of Yamazaki Distillery, the oldest malt whiskey distillery in Japan, and the little-known story of how the single malt whiskey Yamazaki came to be. They also describe the challenges they hope to take on as they continue innovating Suntory whiskey into the future. Anecdotes from the creation of the single malt whiskey, Yamazaki. Learn more about Yamazaki from the story of its birth to the complete attention to detail in bottle and label design. You can understand the basics of the long manufacturing process needed to make whiskey via the exhibits and miniature models installed along the corridors.
If you are scheduled to take the distillery tour, the second floor is also the meeting place where everyone gathers before heading out. Whether you take the distillery tour or visit the museum, or if you happen to manage to do both, your visit to the distillery as a whole is probably going to end here, back on the first floor in the Whiskey Library. Inside of the Whiskey Library, you can see a wall of several thousand bottles of variety of whiskeys that will be the highlight of your visit. A large exhibit area with a double height features the pot still and the washback that were used at the distillery for many years, giving you a sense of the living spirit of whiskey making. And right next to the Whiskey Library is the Tasting Counter. A paid bar where you can enjoy some of your favorite drinks, including the Yamazaki brand. Some 30 varieties of whiskeys from all around the world are available, as well as limited editions and component whiskeys unique to Yamazaki Distillery. Sample a range of whiskeys, savoring the differences in their flavors and don't miss this chance to discover the whiskey of your choice.